Basic derivative. The basic derivative, often called the first derivative, measures the instantaneous rate of change of a function at a given point. It captures the slope of the tangent line. It is denoted as f prime of x, or dy over dx, and is defined by the limit. This concept is fundamental in calculus, used to analyze motion, growth, and optimization. For example, for f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x, the derivative is f prime of x equals 4x plus 3, indicating how the function's value changes as x increases. Higher order derivatives. Higher order derivatives are derivatives taken multiple times. The second derivative, denoted as f double prime of x, or d squared y over dx squared, measures how the rate of change itself changes. These are useful in analyzing acceleration, concavity of graphs, and physical systems. For example, if f of x equals x cubed, then f prime of x equals 3x squared, and f double prime of x equals 6x. Partial derivatives. Partial derivatives apply to functions of multiple variables, measuring the rate of change with respect to one variable while holding others constant. They are denoted as partial, f over partial x, or f sub x. For a function f of x and y, the partial derivative partial f over partial x treats y as a constant. Examples are, for f of x and y equals x squared times y plus y squared. The partial derivative partial f over partial x equals 2xxy and partial f over partial y equals x squared plus 2y, showing how the function changes in each direction. These are critical in fields such as physics and machine learning. Total derivative. The total derivative describes the rate of change of a function when all variables depend on a single parameter, such as time. For a function f of x of t and y of t, the total derivative is df over dt equals, for example, if f of x and y equals x squared plus y, with x equals t squared, y equals t, then partial f over partial x equals partial f over partial y equals 1, and df over dt equals, showing the combined effect of changing variables. This is vital in dynamics and thermodynamics. Implicit derivatives. Implicit derivatives are used when a function is defined implicitly, such as f of x and y equals 0, rather than explicitly as y equals f of x. By differentiating both sides with respect to x and solving for dy over dx, we find the rate of change. For example, for x squared plus y squared equals 16, differentiating gives 2x plus 2y times dy over dx equals 0, so dy over dx equals negative x over y, describing the slope of the circle at any point. This is useful for analyzing curves and related rates. Directional derivative. The directional derivative measures the rate of change of a function in a specific direction, defined by a unit vector u. It is given by d sub u f equals the gradient of f dot u, where the gradient of f is the vector of partial derivatives. For example, for f of x and y equals x squared plus y squared at the point 1, 1, with u equals square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, the gradient is 2x, 2y, which equals 2, 2, so d sub uf equals, which equals 2 times square root of 2. This is key in optimization and physics. Logarithmic derivative. The logarithmic derivative simplifies differentiation of complex products or quotients by using the derivative of a logarithm. For a function f of x, it is d over dx of log of f of x equals f prime of x over f of x. For example, for f of x equals x cubed times sen of x, the logarithmic derivative is which simplifies to 3 over x plus cotangent of x. This technique is valuable in solving differential equations and economic models. Parametric derivative. Parametric derivatives apply to curves defined by parametric equations, such as x equals x of t, y equals y of t. The derivative dy over dx is found as dy over dt over dx over dt. For example, for x equals t squared, y equals t cubed, we have dx over dt equals 2t, dy over dt equals 3t squared, so dy over dx equals which simplifies to 3t over 2. This is essential in motion analysis and computer graphics. Covariant derivative. 
The covariant derivative extends differentiation to vector fields on curved manifolds, accounting for the geometry of the space. It is denoted as the gradient sub t of v for a vector field v along a curve with tangent t. For example, in spherical coordinates, the covariant derivative adjusts for curvature using Christoffel symbols, ensuring consistent differentiation. This is crucial in general relativity and differential geometry. Functional derivative. The functional derivative measures how a functional, a function of functions, changes with respect to its input function. For a functional j of y equals the integral of f of x, y, y prime dx, the functional derivative is For example, for j of y equals the integral of y prime squared plus y squared dx, the functional derivative yields the Euler-Lagrange equation, leading to y double prime equals y. This is fundamental in physics and optimization. Lie derivative. The Lie derivative quantifies how a tensor field changes along the flow of a vector field, preserving the manifold structure. For a scalar field f and vector field x, it is L sub x f equals x of f. For example, for f of x and y equals x squared plus y and vector field x equals 1, 0, the Lie derivative is equals 2x, showing the change along the flow. This is used in dynamical systems and symmetries in physics. Numerical derivative. Numerical derivatives approximate derivatives using discrete data, ideal for computational applications. The central difference formula is, for example, for f of x equals sine of x at x equals 1 with h equals 0 0.1, the approximation is cos of 1. This is widely used in simulations and data analysis. Fractional derivative. Fractional derivatives generalize differentiation to non-integer orders, capturing intermediate behaviors. The Caputo fractional derivative of order alpha involves integrals with fractional kernels. For example, for f of x equals x squared, the fractional derivative of order alpha equals 0 0.5 yields a non-integer power function, reflecting memory effects. This is applied in viscoelasticity and signal processing.